Phonetic Symbols Overview Vowels This presentation is the second part of an overview of the symbols that we use in our phonetic transcriptions. Last time we looked at the consonants. Today we will see the vowels. Let's start with some numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. These numbers contain quite a selection of vowel sounds. To begin with, look at 1, 7, 6, and 10. These words contain short vowels. In 7 and 10, we find a perfectly normal short e uh, sound. In 6, there is sort of a miniature capital I symbol representing the short sound e. Uh. But in 1, we find a totally unusual symbol, a sort of upside-down V, or a capital A without the crossbar. Another short vowel sound. Now, let's look at 2, 3, and 4. The two dots to the right of the letter indicate that these are long vowels, 2, 3, 4. And note that the final R in the word for does not appear in the transcription. The remaining numbers are 5, 8, and 9. The vowel sounds here are called diphthongs, which means that the sound glides from one vowel to the other. These diphthongs are indicated by the double symbols A plus I for 5 and 9 and E plus I for 8. In the numbers 1, 6, 7, and 10, we encountered three short vowel sounds. There are three more to go. They are the sounds of words like clock, stop, that, hat, put, book. My pronunciation may not correspond to every English speaker's pronunciation of these words. My American accent produces clock and stop rather than a more British-sounding clock and stop. And the other words have a variety of pronunciations in various parts of the British Isles. So pay attention to these when you study the phonetic alphabet. There is actually one more short vowel, but it is in a class by itself. It is the weak neutral sound that we hear in the first syllable of the word machine, in the definite article the machine, and in the indefinite article, a machine. And it is the only phonetic symbol that has a proper name, schwa. We find this sound at the end of words like writer, director, photographer. As usual, the final R is not heard in our conventional pronunciation. As we have seen, the numbers 2, 3, and 4 all contain long vowels the ones with the two dots after them. There are five long vowels altogether. The other two are found in the words first and last. Once again, you may have to make some adjustments for the different pronunciations according to the speaker's accent. In our numbers 1 to 10, we met two diphthongs, the sound A in 8 and the sound I in 5 and 9. Another diphthong that ends with the short I symbol is found in the word join. There are two diphthongs that end with the short U symbol. Sample words are how and so. There are three diphthongs that end with the neutral symbol we sometimes call schwa. Key words for these are here, there, and tour. As usual, there is no R sound at the end of these words. <laughs> Lastly, triphthongs are simply diphthongs with a neutral schwa sound at the end. In our transcriptions, we consider two principal triphthongs, the vowel sounds in flower and fire. Be careful not to pronounce final R's in these words. There you are. We've finished the phonetics for the English words. Good luck with your phonetics study. Until next time, ciao.